Utah State University is promising to handle continuing concerns within their football program following a notice of non-compliance from the U.S. Department of Justice. Our Jonathan May is on the story for us in Logan. We see him live there on campus. Jonathan, tell us what you've learned. Well, Sarah, USU says they understand and share the concerns the Department of Justice has. And as we take a look at some video of the football team here, the football program here, USU has been on the DOG's radar since 2017 after stories broke of sexual assault by some in the USU football program. The DOJ reviewed the university's response to these allegations between 2013 and 2017 and found numerous system-wide failures. That, re that review led to a resolution agreement in 2020 where the un university would update policies to build a better environment on campus. But on August 21st, the DOJ found USU did not take effective steps to do that. The school moved on from head coach Blake Anderson a month prior to the DOJ's notice of noncompliance. Some students I ran into on campus are ready to move on th from this. Yeah, I mean, I hope that it's not a big impact. They're able to finish this quick and get us a solid coach who's going to be able to lead our football team. And, uni and University President Elizabeth Canwell says the administration will take necessary steps and they are already in motion. I'll have more on those steps coming up in my full story later tonight on ABC4 News at 6. Live in Logan, Jonathan May, ABC4 News.